Hi guys, my name is Johnston and for today I'm gonna tell you the shocking truth of K-pop auditions. So today I'm gonna tell you the truth of the global K-pop auditions. What goes through during the K-pop audition and how you might potentially get into the K-pop audition. So when you first step into a K-pop audition, you need to fill up your particulars and then you need to pick one of the following category that you are auditioning for. You can audition for a singer, actor, dancer, host or a model. These are the five categories that you can choose from. Once you have picked them and when it's your turn, you will show them whatever you have prepared before that and then you need to perform it on the stage in front of them. So for a singer, you need to prepare like 30 seconds to 1 minute of an acoustic song. Try to use your voice to your advantage. Not everyone is a powerhouse, okay? So if your voice is slightly more gentle and you cannot carry these powerhouse songs, do not choose them. Try to use a song that you're very comfortable with that's within your vocal range. Don't try anything crazy. So try to show the color of your voice because everyone has a different voice and different people have different strengths. So if you're not exactly a powerhouse, you can still get chosen if they like your voice. So for a model, you definitely need to do a catwalk. And so the, the judging panel is kind of like a T-junction. So all you need to do is catwalk like towards them and then across them and back. And then for hosting, they might ask you to do something impromptu on the spot. They might ask you to like sell something or they might ask you to introduce something or try to pitch something to them. And then they will gauge your hosting ability. And then for a dancer, you need to prepare a song track about 30 seconds to 1 minute as well and then they will play it and then they will assess you on the spot. So for acting, they will ask you to come up with a 30 seconds to 1 minute um, script that you have came up with and then they will gauge your acting ability. So this is just the introduction of the audition and here comes the truth of the audition, okay? The whole purpose of a global K-pop audition is that the company already has a mindset of a boy group or a girl group and they already finalize what type of music that they're going to produce therefore they set out to find other members to fill up the position and also sometimes this is a marketing or PR strategy to let you guys know that in one to two years time there will be a new group that will debut Another thing I want to talk about is age, okay? so. I'm sorry to tell you guys, but if you are over 25 years old, I think that getting through an audition at the age of 25 and above is kind of difficult because to be honest, the age range that they are looking for is probably as young as possible, maybe from 9 to 18. There is training involved, they will take you about 2 years to 10 years to train before you debut. And then when you debut, you'll be like 30 over years old. I mean, I don't think that that is ideal, they will preferably like you as young as possible. So if you are about that age range, which is like me, you should probably think about something else. I'm, I'm not stopping you from chasing your dreams, but at the same time, you need to know the reality of it. You may not be able to get into a K-pop audition because of your age. I have had friends that are very talented, they can sing, they can dance, they have the look, they have everything down. The only downfall is their age and therefore they didn't pass the audition. So um, to many people that always tell me that why you don't go for the audition, like I think that um, as much as I would like to present myself, I still think that I'm kind of um, wasting my time because unless I'm a perfect package that can debut immediately, then they wouldn't sign me. And scrolling back to my first point, like I told you guys, they already have a kind of mindset, boy group or girl group in mind. So if you don't fit that criteria, they wouldn't choose you. Unless you're super talented or super amazing and super charismatic, they might choose you for some what reason and want to debut as a solo artist. But I think the chances of that is very, very, very slim. Based on the people that I noticed that got in, right, they have black hair, they're very plain looking, they're not very outrageous with their style, they are not very outrageous with their hair colour and then I think this is what the agency wants because if you are a new face, they will want to understand like what are the possibilities they can do with you and it is best if you present them yourself in a clean slate. So you need to be like as basic as possible but still look good and if you have the certain skills that they want then they will pick you. So what I would recommend if you go to a K-pop audition is that you do not try to have ridiculously coloured hair. I think you should wear like a white top and jeans. I think that's the most basic and the most flattering anyone can look, just like a model audition, right? And if you can nail that, I think you can pretty much wear anything else and look good. Try not to go for like clothes with too much holes, get too revealing, unless you want to show your body, which I don't really think that this works. Because imagine if it's a very girl next door kind of concept they're looking for, 
or and you're wearing too sexy, you'll definitely be out immediately when they see you. So they wouldn't even consider you. So the best chance for you to get chosen probably is to wear something very decent, something very basic so that they can think, oh what if she had this concept or what if she had something like a sexier concept. You know, they have the opportunity to choose rather than you eliminating yourself because you don't know what they really want at the end of the day. For whatever category that you're going for, I hope that you do have experience in it. If you're a newbie or you've just started out for like 3 months, I think that they know. And therefore, your chances of getting in is kind of slim. Unless you really look like what they want in the girl group or the boy group, you should not pin too much hopes. All I think you should do is go there and present the best self to them. And then hopefully, if you fit what they want, then they will pick you. So, and also for people that get rejected for the roles, please do not get really disappointed because honestly, maybe out of like a hundred thousand people, they might just pick two or three. And because like I said, they already know what they want. So if you do not get in, it's not really a problem. So sometimes you must also know that the company culture differs a lot. Like different companies like JYP, YG and SM, they all have different standards when choosing somebody. And mostly I feel that YG, that's why you need to have that kind of vibe where you are like the cool kids and you need to have that kind of like natural charisma that is very different. I think SM Entertainment focuses on visual more. I'm not trying to say that they're not talented but I'm just trying to say that this is the first criteria they'll look at. Then they'll look further into your other talents like singing, dancing or acting and then they'll choose you. Like I think for JYP they choose more on character and how you like deal with things and then if they talk to you, if they were to question you about anything, you need to be really prepared and you need to um, just present your best self and just be confident, okay? So if you do have the chance to take part in the auditions, do remember the notes that I gave you. Remember to dress properly, remember to prepare yourself thoroughly and remember to have a good character. So most importantly, be yourself and if you fit what they're looking for, they will pick you. And if you don't get picked, like don't be disheartened, it's okay, there are always different routes, there are always different like opportunities that going to a few auditions help you prepare like mentally and physically what you need. So learning from your mistakes will help you better yourself as a person and then you will know what not to do. So in my next video, I'm gonna talk about what my audition experience was and then the mistakes that I've done and then things that you shouldn't do. The next day, I received a call from the K-pop audition. Hi, I'm um, from the K-pop audition and then, are you... So I hope you guys learned a thing or two about the truth of K-pop auditions. So if you guys learned anything, do give me a like. And also comment down below what are your K-pop audition experiences and I would love to hear from them. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!